fancy crop circles. That's what a lot of people would call a pasture course. This one in particular. And it's a fair statement. But the view from a tractor tells a different story. One of patience and mistakes. Of fading and recurring elements. Of pride and patrimony. And subjective as they may be, it frames beautiful scenes that few other people get to see. And even if no one were to see them, the pursuit of a perfectly striped fairway persists. The one-man greenkeeping committee spends hour upon hour inspecting and improving, all while the constant drone of the bush hog lets their mind wander. They may find themselves daydreaming of their efforts being compared to a queer Crenshaw design, or reveling in golfing columnists using descriptors like serene, or sculptured, or spectacular. But that would all be gratuitous because a pasture course is for the minimalist. It's an exercise in humility, sometimes futility. It's at the mercy of the topography it was given. No earth is moved, no trees are added, no grass is fertilized. And its condition is merely a function of spontaneous tractor time. Nonetheless, a pasture course to its creator is more than a place to just practice your wedge game. Instead, it rewards you with opportunities to just be present. Enjoy passing on the love of the game to the next generation. Watch old friends return and new ones emerge. Listen to a mixed flock as they surround you. Take in the subtle aroma of diesel and freshly cut alfalfa and be transfixed by the tall grasses as they sway in the autumn wind. And when sitting alone on the tractor, having found perfect vantage point to reminisce on another year spent studying the light, the wildflower cycles, and how best to curve the pathways, the course starts to become personified. It calls you to wake up early and stay out late without ever swinging a club. In the end though, the most captivating aspect of a pasture course is that it's temporary, a fleeting expression, a suggestion at best. And when preparing the fields for spring, you can simply start all over if you want. Go back to the drawing board and yet again look forward to being creative on a large scale. And that to me is what a pasture course is. It's the byproduct of an agricultural necessity, a case study in symbiosis, a collection of wayward golf balls, and most of all, it's a familiar blank canvas year after year.